and it's December race day. Welcome to the Turtle Works Raceway. Today we're going to be taking the TRX4 support up the Turtle Works Raceway to see who wins the final prize, tires or winch. So we did a bit of a tire swap on our truck. We've got Proline trenches on the truck today with some dual foams. They stretch out the tires just a little bit more. Oh, and it gives us just that little bit of more ground clearance, which makes this class one truck super capable. But let's see who wins the prize. Like always, I've got my little cup. The other couple of times I threw it up in there and I caught a couple of drivers. I'm not gonna be doing that today because it just makes the paper fly all over the place. I just don't like picking it up. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna be just keep picking a couple of drivers. Oh my gosh, I got, I mean, I three. That's okay, three drivers is okay. Let's put this down. So we have Taylor, 450. We have Robert Patterson for tires. Oh, Taylor wants a winch. Robert Patterson wants tires and there's nothing on this piece of paper. So I guess it's only two. <laughs> just for goodness sake, let's just get one more guy out of this. I'm just gonna like see if this is really one. Okay, we have one more just to get the competition a little more interesting. It is RC Gents. Okay, let's get the competition on the road. Well, on the track actually. So we have our drivers, we have our truck ready. And this time I have got some gates. So the first gate is on where you come through the little first dip, making sure you do not pass over with the rear of the tire here. Then coming through the 90 degree drop down there, sometimes the rear tire gets a little bit close to that edge and slips off. So that could be a bit of a hazard. Then going up the V-notch, doing our 90 degree right turn, coming through the next gate, our left turn, and we can't just speed it up through the finish gate. We need to take it calm to fit our truck through that final gate. Touching one of the gates is gonna be an addition of five seconds to the time. Other than that, reverses are free, and this is a trail time run. Let's get the first driver ready. So first driver up is RC Gents. We have our start line over here, getting the truck into the right position. Ready, steady, here comes the bell. And he goes off, getting his truck into position, not to touch the first gate, going past that first gate, Ooh, very nicely. Coming to the second gate, shaking a little bit far. Ooh, getting stuck on the front bumper there. Has to do a slide back up. Doesn't want to do it too far back up. Taking that slowly, taking that easy. Ooh, touch that ball, touch that gate. Okay, that is a plus five second call there. Coming past here, getting stuck on the front bumper. Going back, trying to catch it. Oh, sliding off that V-notch. This is steep as heck. Ladies and gentlemen, oh, need to just find some grip on that. Here we go, here we go. And he made it through the V-notch. Coming up, need to take a backup here. Like I said, backups are free. There are no points or minus points for backups. You just gotta get that tire past that point over here. Running this track with gates is a lot different than just running it for a time run. Okay, taking it easy. Here we do have a little bit of a, of a issue. There we go. Okay, up to now we have not touched anything. Passing through. Yes, very nice. Oh, that gate is still active. Yes, made it, and across the line. <laughs> well done, RC gents. <laughs> Next runner up is Robert Patterson for a set of tires. And one, two, three, here comes the bell. Oh, and he is off for a jumping start there. Coming through the first gate, did that very nicely. Second gate, easy to, oh, touch that second gate as well. And coming up to the next section here, V-notch. Let's see if he makes that V-notch. Oh, very nicely, very fast as well. Taking it quite at a steep angle. Ooh, did that quite well as well. 
Pass that bumper a little bit of wheel speed. Oh, we need to touch that gate as well. Another additional five seconds on that one. And across the line. Well done. <laughs> and last but not least, Taylor 450. Let's stick him in here. And one, two, three, here goes the bar. Oh, jumping off that first bit as well. Oh, this looks like he's going a little bit far there. Taking it easy, see if we can get past that first gate. Yes. Yes, he made it. No problems there. Taking it a little bit far. Oop. Ah, and touch the gate. A little back up to actually get past this. No problems. Okay. Coming through here and slipping off the sideline. Also slipped off that sideline. Come on, come on, come on. Taking a right turn again. No, 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 no. Uh oh, a oh, little bit early. Need to take it a little bit easier on this V notch section. Come on, come on, come on. Thank God there are no reverse penalties. Come on, come on. You can do this. You can do this. Yes, there we go. Oof. That is now a little bit too far, getting stuck on that one. Slowly does it, easy does it. Come on, finding grip, yes. Will he make it through that section without slipping off? No, no, getting stuck on that rock, backing it up a little bit. Yep, okay, and, 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 and oh, across the line, but touched <laughs> the last gate on the full throttle. <laughs> That's why I put it there. <laughs> so that, that last piece has to be taken with care. Anyway, oh gosh, let's see. Let's go back, assess our times, and let's see who won the prize. Now that was an exciting race, ladies and gentlemen. I have the scoreboard, and it goes from third place to first place. So third place is RC Gents, five second penalty, adding up to one minute, 40 seconds. Second place is Taylor with a 10 second penalty, but adding up to 1 minute 39. Only a second difference in third and second. Now, the winner is -ha -ha, Robert Peterson with a 10 second penalty, but still adding up to 47 seconds. That is an impressive, impressive run. I'm actually saying that wrong. It's not Peterson, it's Patterson. So it's Robert Patterson, well done on your win. And I believe you wanted some tires. So I'll leave a link down in the description where you can get hold of me, either Instagram or Facebook. So guys, that's it for the TurtleWorks Raceway December giveaway. And that's it for me for this week, guys. Thanks for watching. We will see you guys next week. Bye.